Well, praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. God bless you again tonight. We want to thank God tonight again for you. Appreciate you, though, that'll be tuning in and and though they'll be praying, you know, of the Bible says we'll pray one for another. He tell us in the scripture that one could put a thousand, two could chase ten thousand. So we covered your prayer that we can pray one for another. We you know we join in with prayer and praying that and that God's will be done, that He will raise up a standard to get this end that cometh in upon us like a flood. And one could put a thousand, two, ten thousand, and three hundred thousand. I had that thing calculated one time. I've got this. I'm the real now, but if three of us get together, we can put a, if one can put a thousand, two, ten thousand. So we'll pray. Keep them prayers up before Jesus and He'll answer. He said His ear was open to the prayer of the righteous. So we keep them prayers up there. We keep bombarding heaven with those prayers, and God, He have to answer. Thank God. And I thank God tonight for you. We really appreciate you. Those you are praying and. Uh, Holding on, you're still holding on to God. We appreciate the Lord for giving that mind to hold on to continue. You know, stay on this old battlefield. You know, we're going to do what we can do to stay on this old battlefield and try to please God. So we're going to give it a good prayer tonight. We we covered everybody's prayer. Thank God for the ministers, you know, the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, the laymen. We thank God for all of you, you know. The Bible says we are the sheep of his pasture. And I thank God for him choosing us. And we are not choosing him. Because you know, we have chosen him. This is the way that got so hard, man. We have chosen him. We don't we don't let this thing go a long time ago. You know, the way the devil had fighting, the way the devil had just try to discourage you. You know, not your fate down. We don't let this thing go a long time ago. We just said, what the use? But thank God he chose us and ordained us that we're going to make it through. He said we were overcome. We was overcoming. The Bible calls us overcoming. We are overcome. We are overcoming. Everything that the devil have put off on us, he tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And I believe that. We ain't got nothing else to believe. We got to stand on that. That there's something on the inside of us that's greater than anything else out there. I thank God. We're going to go in prayer for a moment. Ask the Lord if he would sanctify the service and he would bless our ears to hear and bless our voice to speak. And it all be done to his glory. Father, tonight we thank you. Lord, again, I thank you for this night. I thank you for the mind. Thanks for the mind you have given us, Lord, that we have a mind to continue on to believe you. We have a mind to be steadfast, although we go through hell and high water, we go through torment, we go through stuff that the devil bring up against. But God, we got a mind to just wade through every Spirit that the devil chunk at us. God, thank you for putting a fence about our mind, for being that shield and that buckler, Lord, that keepeth us in this old uh, evil time that we in now, in this old discouraging time. But God, we put our eyes upon you. We won't dis get discouraged. Lord, it's hard for us to get discouraged if we keep our eyes upon you. And Lord, I thank you. As, as your heart's fed, told him, Lord, that when those three came were coming after him, he said, we don't know what to do. So we have no might against these armies, and we don't know what to do. But our eyes up on you, Father. Our eyes and his eyes up on you, depending upon you, looking to you, Jesus, for help. Looking to you, God, for our strength. And Lord, we thank you, Father, being that you say your name was a strong tile, that we could run into it and be safe. You said. Lord, that no weapon that formed against us should prosper. Father, thank you tonight, Lord. And Lord, we give you honor and praise. Speak to our hearts tonight. Heal the sick that be among them. Every prayer request that's going out. I'm asking you, Jesus, to heal the sick that be among us. Give deliverance to the bound. God, move for our nation, our neighborhoods, our city, town, our villages. I'm asking you to let your blood cover walk among us in our neighborhoods, in our towns. And walk among us, Jesus, to manifest yourself, manifest your grace and your mercy and your truth to help us 
and it's moved for our families, our children, Lord, our grandchildren. Lord, there have been several requests coming in, God, about their children. I'm asking you in Jesus' name. Lord, three, uh, three requests I know, Lord, that recently. God, I'm asking you in Jesus' divine name. Oh, Lamb of God, meet them needs. I'm asking you, Jesus, work it out, Lord. You're in control. Work all this stuff out, Father. We ask you. And we believe you. We're standing on, God, what you told us. In Jesus' name we pray. We agree. And I thank you. Praise the Lord. We appreciate the Lord tonight. I thank God for you. We're going to speak a few minutes. Tell you the word of God. And, and I pray that you ask God to help you to. That there be a blessing to you. That some kind of way you get some kind of strength out there. I'm a firm believer. You know, we quote this scripture a lot. That uh, what Jesus told Peter. That he prayed for him. That Satan desired to have him. That he may sift him as wheat. But Jesus told Peter. But I pray for you, Peter. You know, you know the scripture. That the faith fail not. And then when you get converted, Peter, you strengthen your brother. You help your brother. So I'm going to pray for you that you stand. In your time of trouble, in your time of weakness, I'm going to pray for you that, that your faith don't fail. And then when you get in that place, Peter, I want you to strengthen your brother. When you get in a place where you can be a help, when you get in a place where you can be a strength, strengthen your brother. So free you, free to receive, freely give. So we, 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 we pray one for another. God is strengthened. Strengthen us and help us through every trial and every step that we are going through. The Bible teaches that many are there facing of the righteous, but God promised us, this is where he promised us, I'll deliver you out of them all. Folk, we ain't got nothing else to hold on to, but Jesus' word. We're going to do our best. And I tell people all the time, do your best. Man, when you do your best, you can't do no more. When you do your best, you can't, there ain't nothing there for you to do when you do your best. The best of your ability, the best that you know how to do it. And understand that Jesus has given you, you do your best. You know, acknowledge your fault. Acknowledge your mistake. Acknowledge your shortcoming. Acknowledge your failure. But yet still keep striving. Keep pressing. Keep reaching out to God for all that within you. Lord, I know I've messed up with Jesus. I'm coming at you. My eyes are upon you. And I'm looking to you. I'm expecting that lame man at the gate that in Acts 3. The Bible says he was expecting to see something. Peter told him to look up on us. And he looked up on him expecting to see something. We got to expect to receive something from God because he don't lie. Listen from the book of uh, from the book of Matthew 18 and 18. We're going to read. We won't hold you uh, long tonight if God's will. We try not to hold him on an hour anyway, but sometimes we may not go an hour. But I pray that you uh, this word can get in your heart somewhere that we are used. God have left this word here for us to use. You know, I was telling my daughter, I, said, I use everything. I use his name. I use his blood. I use his word. I, said, I use everything in the Bible that I can use to help me and that they can help other people. Everything that can rebuke this devil, that can raise up a standard against it, I use everything. Somebody was saying, uh, I think one of them was saying about what the blood is for. I said, well, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use everything that Jesus left in the Bible for me to use if it'll work, you know. And if it don't work, I'm using, I'm trying. Thank God. We go over to the book of Matthew. I'm going to be speaking tonight on. Let's do our part. Let's hold up our end. Let's strive to do our part. Jesus is going to do his part. If we strive to hold up our end, you know, do your best. Hold up your part. This is Matthew 18, 18 through 20. Verily, this is Jesus saying, Verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loose. Jesus telling us, listen here. I'm going to bind in heaven. I'm going to loose in heaven. He's, but you got a part to do. Jesus says, listen, I, I'm going I'm I'm to bind my word. Jesus told her then, Jeremiah, I will watch over my word that I 
that to come to pass, to perform it, to make it good. So Jesus telling her, here, listen, I'm going to, if you were buying it, that's something you got, if you were buying on earth, whatever you're buying on earth, he said, I will bind it in heaven. This is our part. This is our part, the buying on earth according to the will of God. Jesus, you don't have no fear about me. Uh, Numbers 23 and 19 said, God ain't no man that he should lie. He's the son of man that he should be. When God tell us what you're buying on earth, he tell us what you buying on earth. I'm telling you now, what you buying on earth, I will bind it in heaven. You got to bind it. What you loose on earth, I will loose it in heaven. Man, we got to do our part. We got to bind this thing on here. Push out all doubt and disbelief. And depend upon the word of God. The God that you told me, if and I'm buying this with everything within me. I'm buying it with all the faith that I got. All the faith that I can muster up. I'm buying this devil. You told me. You promised us. You said your promise good. You promised us. If we were buying on earth, you would buy it in heaven. So you ain't going to let us down. God, help us to get in this place, get this faith that we can bind. So Jesus gave us a promise that I'll bind it. In heaven, if you, you bind whatsoever you bind on earth, I'll bind it. And whatsoever you loose on earth, I'll loose it in heaven. Jesus tells us to make a move first. If you do it, I'm going to back it up. If you do it in faith, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to watch over my word. If I told you to bind, I'm going to watch over my word. I'm going to watch over my word to see to it come to pass. You ain't got the word. If you do it, do it in faith and believe, stand on it. Thank God heaven going to bind it. Heaven going to okay it. Heaven is going to approve it. But we just got to do our part. We got to do our part. And not looking for ourselves who we are is what Jesus done told us. Do faith. You bind on faith. You bind it through faith. But if you bind on earth, we're going to get something done, but we're going to get it done through faith. We're going to get it done through the Word of God. It can't be outside the Word of God. It's going to be all in the Bible tells us in Job what ye shall decree a thing. And it shall be established. Listen, guys, I, I, I don't lie. I'm not a man. I don't lie. I'm not a son of man. That, that I, he said, if, if you decree it, it shall be established. If you decree it, if you say it, decree it, I will bag it up. I've given, given you that promise. I will bag it up if you bind it. If you will bind it, believe it, confess it. And the Bible says, man, the word is in our mouth. The word of faith will be preached. If you confess and speak this thing from your heart and faith, he said, I will honor in heaven. But we got to do our part. Jesus help us to do our part. Help old man, the Bible says, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, knee hath been in the heart of man. The thing that God got revealed for us, that's a place. There is a secret place in God. I know we got to strive to get that. There's a secret place in God. Man, I know this, look, this ain't all what's to this stuff what we see here. Think as we read the Bible, read about the miracles of Jesus and, and the life of Jesus and the apartheid, this it's got to be more for us. We got to learn how to speak this thing, learn how to bind it, learn how to loosen God. So I will watch over my word. I will. You can depend on me. That song that, that sister ain't to be playing, I won't let you fall. You can lean on me. I won't let you fall. I promise not to let you fall. I promise not to let you fall. Jesus, I promise you, I will honor if you believe it. Believe it. It's something that we got to do. Believe. We have to believe on him. We got to do our part. Listen. Again, I say unto them, if two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything that they shall act, it shall be done. Of them are my Father which is in heaven. He was saying it. If two of you shall agree on earth, as if two of you shall agree on earth, this is what we got to do. Jesus said, listen, I'm telling you, if two of you get together, if two of you shall agree, man, we got to do our part. This is, he always said, look, you do. I'm going to do it. You do. You get out. I'm telling you what to do. You got to do your part. 
If two of you shall agree on earth at touching anything, the Bible says, that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. If two or three you shall agree. Touch and agree on anything. That's why we touch and agree a lot. He said, I will do it. But we got to touch and agree. We got to do it. We got to touch and agree. Jesus, I'm, you ain't worried about me. So don't worry about my part. Don't worry about what I say. If you do your part, if you hold your end up, if you believe on me, as the scripture said, if you believe on me, if you believe what I tell you, what I've told you, if you believe on that and act up on it, I'm going to watch over my end of this thing. You got, if you hold your end up, I hold my end up. You can depend upon me. You can count on me. I won't let you down. I won't let you fall. But we got to do our part. I know sometimes we want Jesus. But Jesus didn't give us a part to do. I know sometimes we want Jesus to do it all. But Jesus didn't give us a part to do it. Jesus, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm faithful. My word is faithful. Told me in Isaiah 55, the word that goes out of my mouth shall not return unto me, boy. He said, it shall not. My word is it's, it's going to prosper. And the thing where I, I said, it shall not return unto me, boy. He said, I am faithful to my word. I watch this all my word to make it good. He said, but if you would agree, if you would touch and agree, anything you ask, if you do this for it, you get together down here on earth. Y'all get together and believe. Be steadfast. Be firm on earth. Then I will be steadfast in heaven. I'll make it happen. I see to it coming to pass. If we do it, he said, you do your part, folks. We got to pray, God, help. I'm praying, Lord, help me to do my part. My our part of what is to believe. To believe on him. He'll make it happen. He'll bring the path. But you're buying on earth, Jesus told me. I'm going to do it. But you got to bind first. Then I will ordain it just in case this devil want to get stubborn. Just in case this devil want to try to block it. Just in case the devil try to put up roadblocks and hindrance in the way. He's going to make you a bind on earth. I, I ordain in heaven. I grant it to be so. From heaven. You know? Jesus told me in Chronicles. If my people to call by my name. Humble themselves and pray. Repent and turn for the weak away. He said then I will hear from heaven. In other words, he said, I'm up in heaven, but I hear you, even up there, I hear you, you down here on earth. I will hear you from heaven. You repenting of your evil and call up on me, then I will hear from heaven. In other words, he said, I may be way up there, but I hear you from up there. Man, when all these plays and all this stuff come up against, he said, man, if we repent and try my wicked evening and call upon him, he said, then I will hear. I hear you. I hear you. So if you bind it, I hear you. If you loose it, I will hear you. I will hear you from heaven. But we got to do our part. You got to do our part. You know? Jesus has set this thing up for us. You know, giving us something to do. So I've chosen you. You ain't chosen me. So we give us something to do for. We got to try, strive to do our part. Strive. Don't let no doubt get in there. I know it's hard sometimes. We got to some kind of way find a way. The scripture tell us what that we can do all things what through Christ that strengthen us. And that's true. The Bible said in, a, in, in what that in Timothy, Second Timothy, what that three sixteen says. All scriptures is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable. What I'm speaking tonight, it's given by God and it's proper. I'm telling you, if we can bind on earth, Jesus, he says proper teaching for reproof, for edification. It is profitable. I'm going to speak in tonight. This is going for Brother Austin and everybody else. And we can shut out all doubt. Sometimes I be praying, I be trying to shut out all doubt. Just get that pure faith. God, get everything away from me that every unbelief. Get that stuff. Get, 
I be trying to reach in there, get in there, man, and rid of there and get it and find the heart of God and just bleed like he bleed. If we can get to that place, if we can touch you know, the woman with blood. She said, if I can touch his garment, I'm gonna be made of man, if we can get in that place. But doubt have no room, doubt have no effect, doubt will have no place. God have to move. Are you listening to me? I mean, she would have to move. We can get in that place where doubt don't have no place. Have no room, have no say so. Jesus will definitely move according to his word. God have mercy upon our soul and help us. Strengthen us, Father. Give us the that we need, man. We, we, we missing a lot of stuff. Well, but listen. God ain't no man that he should lie. Hope you're buying on earth. He will be bound in heaven. He's our binding in heaven. I will bind it in heaven. If you lose, I lose it. This is what John, St. John 2. St. John 2. Man, don't you love him tonight? I mean, that's a place in God that we can get to. I know it's that. But may not be in God that yet, but there is a place in Jesus, thank God, that we can get to. God help us to get to help us. God, through your mercy and grace, have mercy on if you see us trying, striving, you see the desire in our heart to get this place, I believe God's going to help us some kind of way. I know that the, 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 the dream sister, Amy had, the busy days she had, the, the man of God told us that uh, 2023 is going to be a good year for his people. I said, God, let it be so. Forgive me, wash away all my fear. Wash away all my doubt, disbelief. Wash away all my shortcomings. Wash away all of my insecurity. Wash away everything and let this be a good year. Let it come to pass, Lord. Let it be true that 23 be a good year. We're not running around saying, you know, a lot of these people over TV, well, God coming through in 22 and in 21. God, listen, I'm talking about something from God. I'm talking about something Jesus telling us. I'm talking about we finding favor with Jesus, getting in that place and finding grace and finding favor with him to do. I, I, I pray this is the way it be. I pray that we need 23 to man for God to do great things for us. It's going to be a good year. I believe it. God help me to stand on that. It's going to be a good year. For, oh, Lord, help us. God know we need it. God know, listen, St. John 2, verse 1 through 10. But we got to do our part. God help me. I got to do my part. And that bucket, the whole guy in that bucket, man, man stuff and leaked out. I said, Brother Fred, we got to patch that hole up. Patch up that hole. Listen, St. John 2, verses 1 through 10. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called, and his disciple to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, They have no wine. And Jesus said, and Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. And the mother said unto the servant, Whatsoever he shall say unto you, do it. And there was set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purification. Of the Jews containing two or three perkins apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pot with water. And they filled them up to the brim. Now, listen what? Jesus must said that they out of wine. That they run wine. Jesus said, Man, what I got to do that? She said, Whatever he tells you to do, you do it. And what did he do? Listen, don't worry about the wine. Fill the water pot. Says, I'm on the move. I'm on the I'm on a furnace of wine, but fill the water pot. If we, we do what we supposed to be doing. Fill the water pot. And man, they, they said about six water pot. Uh, uh, Jesus made about a hundred from anywhere from 120 to 180 gallons of wine there for them drunks. Now there was wine, there wasn't no grape, there was water. There was water turned into wine. There wasn't no ferment stuff where they got drunk off, because they had got by hand drunk off that stuff they had anyway. And they didn't know what, it just, it just tastes good. But Jesus told them to fill the water pot. 
I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make the wine. Don't worry about the the guests and the and, and the and the kings and stuff. Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you fill the water pot up. She said, "Whatever they tell you to do, whatever you tell you to do, said so you do it." Jesus, fill the water pot. That's something that we gotta do. Jesus, I'm not turning the water into wine and filling the water. I'm not going out there filling these jugs up and then turning the water into wine through. He said, "That's something you gotta play a part in this thing, folks. We gotta play a part in this thing." As he is, so are we in this world. They told him to fill the water pot. Man, we got to do our part. Jesus, help us to do our part. Fill the water pot. And the Bible says they fill the water pot to the brim. And Jesus told him to not go back to the government. And he said unto him, draw out. Now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the rulers of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servant which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning drink, set, beginning do set forth good wine. And when the men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. See, so and that's what it is. No more, more parties and they, they set out the good wine. And then by the time people got half drunk and don't know the difference, then they bring out the worst stuff. They, they, they don't know the difference then. Man, they about half drunk. They half tip. They don't know whether it's good wine or not. They only got half drunk. He said, listen, man, we, you used to set out good wine at the first. Then when people get half drunk, then they bring out the good stuff. He's but man, you have say the best for last. In other words, this he said, it tastes better. Jesus said, you fill the water pop up. I'm going to turn this water into wine. The mountains of water into wine. Not, not he didn't get a bunch of grapes and put in there and turn them great. He turned water. This was water, folks. He turned into wine. But Jesus told him, said, you fill the water pots up. I'm going to take care of the rest. Jesus said, you believe. If you believe and don't doubt, I'm going to take care of whatever I told you. I'm going to take care of it. If I told you that I'm on a move, so you, you got to believe. Believe it. Believe it, and I will bring it to pass. Believe it, and I will make it happen. Believe it. I will make it happen. We got a part to do. He said, you bang. On earth, take care of this earthly stuff. He said, in heaven, I'm going to okay it. I'm going to ordain it. I'm going to seal it to be so. In heaven. He said, you feel the water pot. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take care of these drunks. I'm going to supply the wine for these drunks and all these people, but that's something you got to do first. He said, you go fill the water pot. Jesus made 120. The Bible said uh, six water pots from, uh, I forgot how many said, uh, two or uh, three freakings a piece. In other words, it was from 20 to 30 gallons. Each one of those pot had from, 10, from 20 to 30 gallons of, of, of water. And it was six of them. So Jesus got in and turned in. Man, he, he filled him up to the brim. And Jesus turned a, a hundred and twenty, from 120 to 180 gallons of water into wine for those alcoholics, for those drunks. And they didn't know the difference. It tasted so good. They couldn't tell the difference. Man, you say the best for last. It wasn't the kind to get them drunk, but they already like got my head drunk. All they know it tastes good. But the people had to fill the water pot first. They had to do something first. Jesus, I'm going to take care of my pot. You take care of your pot. You fill the water pot up, I'm going to turn it into wine. You know? So whatever Jesus tells us, whatever our, whatever our part is, he tells us to believe. We believe. We are responsible for believing. We are responsible for believing. Listen, Hebrew. Hebrew 6. Hebrew 6. 6. 13 to 18. Listen to what it says. When God made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless. Thee and multiply I will multiply. 
thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained a promise for men verily swear by the greater an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife, wherein God willingly more abundant to show unto the heir the promise the immutability of his counsel, confirm it by an oath, listen, that by two and multiple things, immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we may have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon God. said, God can't lie. He swore. The promise he, the, the, he swore, the promise and the oath. He made him a promise. I do it and he swore the oath. God can't lie. He said, listen here. Whatever you're buying on earth, I, God can't lie. He swore. I can't lie. I won't lie. Ain't no man that I, I lie. I'm not a son of man that I should repent. God cannot lie. Whatever, if God tell you, if you're buying it, if you're loosening it, if you speak to this mountain, speak to this fig tree, can't lie. He says, without doubt, he says, shall, oh, God can't lie. If he said it, he can't lie. If two of us agree on earth, Two of us, all three, agree on us on earth as touching anything. God said this, folks. If two of us agree, man, if I get somebody that's agree with me tonight, and we agree on your situation, agree on your, the Bible said, mate, God cannot lie. He swore, I cannot lie. He will not lie. If, we, it's, if two of us agree on us as touching anything, as this is this is Jesus' word here, that we bring back to him, he said, if we agree on that thing, He'll do it. It shall happen. It shall come to pass. If two of us shall touch and agree on anything we ask, it shall be done above to us, for us, of our Father, of His Father, which is in heaven. God can't lie. He can't, God can't lie. So God, help us to play our part. Help us to do our part. Help us. You're there. You're willing. You're ready. You get ordained in heaven. So I'm willing. Whatever they, whatever, throw the devil, whatever. They ask, they ask in faith, you can't stop it. So I'm letting you know right now, Satan, whatever they ask, agree in my name, I'm going to do it. I don't care how you huff and puff, I am going to do it. My word is not coming back to me, boy. We can depend upon the word. We can start the word. I know we fight stuff. We, I, I fight stuff. I go through stuff. You know what? God word is still true. The Bible said in Psalm there, God worried, thy word, the Lord, is ever sell in heaven. God was ever sell. I mean, it's rooted. It's anchored. It's forever sell. Ain't nothing can uproot the word of God. Ain't nothing can stop the word of God. Ain't nothing can disnull the word of God. What God have anchored, this word has been sell in heaven. Thank God. Why would Jesus tell us this stuff? He ain't going to do none of this stuff. Why did up and tell us that he's God? He ain't got to win no favor with us. We got to win favor with him. He ain't got to tell us stuff, man, just to make us feel good. He's God. He don't do stuff like that. He ain't like us. All the word of God is true. Every word of God is true. Everything God says is true. You, know? you, you, know, you don't have to lie to us. You, don't have to, you know, we might lie to one another and say stuff to you know, just make people feel good and all that stuff. And but Jesus don't do that, man. He's pure God. He don't. He don't run say stuff. And it's up to us to believe. It's up to us to get a hold. It's up to us. I said, Jesus, help us. Man, we may not be much. That song said, "Son, we may not be much, but that that we ill. I give it all to you, Lord. I, I, I owe it to you. I submit myself to you. Lord, help me to play my part. Help me to play my role." Sometimes I feel so insignificant. I said, Jesus, help me. Help me to do my part. I was praying today about a situation, a, a, a circumstance that had happened. I made a decision on it. been a while back. But I think about this. God, did I make the right decision? 
Did I do the right thing? Did I make the right decision? Has God helped me to help me to do my part? Man, I'm trying. Jesus, folk. If so, at the Bible, the people that do know their God, Daniels, the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Now, this is what the Bible tells us here. The people that do know their God shall be strong. Not no maybe, not perhaps. The people that do know their God. Paul said, Lord, that I may know you in the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your son being made come unto your death. The people that do know their God, it's a might, may, maybe, perhaps, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and they're going to do exports. This is what the Bible, God help us to get in that secret place, get in that place. But we can say, but we will, God, and you'll honor it. We call, you have given us this. We're his people. You know? Man, if God don't give us power, give us that. If you don't, you know, we, we can't do this stuff ourselves. We have to say this stuff that the Lord had to pick it up in heaven. Don't the devil run all over us. Man, we, we, we will never get nothing done if God didn't own this thing. Oh, my God. We will never get nothing done against this devil if Jesus, thank God, thank God, didn't own it in heaven. If Jesus didn't bag it up in heaven, if Jesus didn't watch his word from heaven, we would never get nothing done. And the Bible says, man, this devil is going out some roaring lion, digging ditches. He's the most subtle beast of the field. He's trickery, deceitful. He's begotten. And we would never get anything done if Jesus from heaven, thank God, didn't hear and didn't honor his word. No weapon that formed against you shall prosper. Jesus have to, we wouldn't get nothing done, folks. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing you would get done. All our prayers would be in vain if God didn't back this stuff up from heaven. If he didn't back this stuff up from heaven. So, but that's the part we got to do. We got to believe him. We got to confess his word. We got to believe him. And I'm talking about me. Because I had the same problem other people had. We got to believe him. And we ain't nothing for me going, man, we're supposed to believe God for everything. God said, anything you ask in my name, I would do it. Oh, how much stuff have you been asking Jesus look like they got done? Anything you ask in my name, I'll do it that the Father be. This is a promise from God. A promise from God. Let me read on here. This is Hebrew. Hebrews 16 and 6. 16 and 6. Uh, and maybe Hebrew 11. I'm sorry, Hebrew 11 and 6. Hebrew 11 and 6. Hebrew 11 and 6. Look what it says. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Talk about God. Without faith, it's impossible to believe. Listen. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and reward them that death. See what Jesus said here to Paul? For he that comes to God, what? Must first believe. He, he said that he's something we got to do. He said, you come to God, you got to believe that he is reward. If you don't believe it, and, 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 but there is a part for us to play. He that comes to God but without faith, and proper to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And reward them that diligently. You got to believe that he is. He that come to God must believe that he is. That's the something that we got to do. You got to believe that he is. You ain't expecting God to do nothing for you. You don't believe that he is. You don't believe that he is. God I do it. I'm the rewarder of them that diligently seek me. But you got to believe this. If you're going to come to God, you got to believe that he is. And he's rewarded them that daily deceive him. That is a role. We got to hold up our end some kind of way. We got to pray, Jesus, help us to hold up our end some kind of way. Help us to get up here. You done gave us a promise. You've given us a promise. And you say, you watch over your word. And God help us. You say, man, if we come to God, we got to believe. This is what we got to do. We got to believe. Got to believe that he is. 
Man, believe that's a work. I'll read it later on. That is a work. That is the works of God. Believe on Jesus Christ, the Bible says. That is the works of God. They want to know what can we do to do the works of God. He said, believe on him that God has sent. This is the work. Believe that's something you got to do. God have mercy upon our soul and help us. Have mercy upon our soul, Lord, and help us. Help us. You're there. Waiting on us. And man, I'm at the head of the line. I am at the head of the line. But help, I am at the head of the line. You got to let your word be a lie. Hebrew says the, the word of God is quick, sharp, and powerful, and two edged sword. I said, God, let your word come alive. Let it be alive in me. Help me to believe. If I come, you help me to believe that, that you are and you're a rewarder. Uh, rewarder me if, if I diligently seek you. This is about John 14. We're going to get on through it. John 14. John 14 and 12. Oh, don't you love him? And I do. I appreciate the Lord. How many are going to strive? You're going to strive. You're going to strive to do your part. Pray, God, get all this doubt away from me. Strive to do your part. You know, Jesus, fill the water, Pastor. Don't worry about the wine. All I do is feel the water. Jesus, all I need to believe. Believe that I am. And I'm a reward. Believe me. You know. You bind. I bind in heaven. If you if you bind, I bind in heaven. So you ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to tell that devil. You ain't got to rebuke that devil. On earth you agree, rebuke that devil. And then don't nothing happen. He said, if you, if you agree, if you rebuke that devil, without no doubt, as he cursed that fig tree, he said, I'll rebuke him in heaven. I'll turn him away from him. If you do it in faith and believe and stand on it, I'll do it in heaven. I'll do it in heaven. Listen to what John 14 verses. I mean, I said John, yeah, John 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I do shall he do also, and greater work than these shall he do, because I go where? Unto my father. But Jesus said here first, well, barely, barely I said it, he that believeth on me, the work that I do. You see? Shall you do? He said, but you got to do something now. You got to believe on me. You can do the work, but you got to believe on me. Very. Believe on me. Bell, I said, the work that I do, shall you do. He that believeth on me. The works that I do, shall he do also. He said, you can do the work, but there's something you got to do. You got to believe on me first. You got to believe on me. No. Bell, I said, the work that I do, shall if he that believes on me, the work that I do, shall ye do. Also, you got to believe on him. You can't go out and do nothing, not believe on Jesus. You got to bless the work. You got to believe on him. We got to believe. We got to take him for everything. We got to believe that he's in control of everything. He got all power in heaven and earth. I pray to him, I said, God, I believe you got all power. I believe. I don't I can't understand a lot of this stuff, but I believe it. I believe everything that's under your control. I said, Father, I believe. We've been taught that. We, we read about it. I said, I believe. I believe on him. God, you help us. Well, I say unto you, he that believes on me, this is the work. This, this is our part. Folks. This is our part right here. Well, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, this is our part, believes on Jesus. Believe on him. The work that I do, shall you do also, and greater work than thee, shall you do. That's our part. He that believeth on me, the work that I do, Shall you do also. In great work, then shall you do. Listen, John 6, 39 and 40. I mean 6, 26 and 29. John 6, 26 to 29. I hope you're still with me. 
This is the word of God we're teaching here. This ain't something else. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. Six, John 6, 26 through 29. Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not. You seek me. Not because you saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for that meat which endured unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God the Father seal. Listen. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? You hear what they're saying there? What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that ye believe on him whom he had. He said, This is the work of God. So this is your part. He said, What shall we do that we work the works of God? Jesus said, Listen there, believe on him. That God has sent. This is the work of God. He said, this is your part. That you can do the work if you believe on him whom God has sent. This is the work of God. To believe this is the work. We got to believe God. This is our part to believe him. We got to do our part. Believe on him. Believe that all things are possible with Jesus. They got a saying that you, they say it a lot. And I don't ever say it. I say, I say part of it. They say uh, God said that selling. God said I believe in that selling. I kind of took the part out. The second part, I said God said in that selling. It do us good to believe, but if you don't believe, they ain't gonna stop God. They ain't gonna hinder God if you don't believe. God said it. That sells it. You know whether you believe or not. But one thing about it, somebody gonna believe. Somebody gonna believe. Somebody gonna act upon it. Somebody gonna take hold of what Jesus said. And God help us to take hold of what Jesus said. Man, not looking at ourselves. Man, if you bind it in the right spirit, bind it in the spirit, of God. Bind it in the man in the atmosphere, of God. Bind it. Yeah. Not in our own self. Who we are, who we think we are, or we think we are great. Not, 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 not like that. But bind it in the in the spirit of God. To believe, he said, "This what shall we do to work the works of God?" He said, "Believe on Him that got us." This is the work of God, to believe. This is our part to believe. Paul's our planting pot of water, but God give the increase. God give the increase. Man, we believe it, confess it, act up on it, do what he said. He's going to give the increase, folks. Thank God God's going to deliver our sons and our daughters. God's going to move for us. He said, he said that look at God was going to restore the years that the locusts have eaten. I believe that. I believe it. God said, believe on him. Jesus said, I'm going to restore the years. I believe it. That's my part to believe that he's going to restore. That not, I don't care how far in the ditch that you can fail, you believe in God that he is a restorer. He is a, he, he, a, he's a resurrectionist. This is the way that God, if you believe on him, they say, believe on me. This is the work. A lot of people don't believe. But if you believe on him, he said, this is the works of God, that you believe on him who have sinned. I believe there's a restoration. Because God said, I'm going to restore heaven. We're going to hold Jesus into the restitution of all things. I believe it. I, 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 I thought about that song. I was going to say, I'm just waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I'm just waiting on the Lord. Has God helped me to just wait on you? Believe on you? Believe that you're going to help? Thank you, Jesus. You know? This is the works of God that you believe on him who he has sent. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the works of God, verse 29, that you believe on him who he had sin. Listen, John, look at verse, same chapter 39 and 40. Same chapter 39 and 40. Let 
bleed. Um, No, I'm sorry, it's, it's chapter 5. John chapter 5, excuse me. I guess I was excited. I knew where I was at, but I, I wrote the wrong thing down. St. John 5, 39 and 40. Listen. Such the scripture. For in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Talking about the scripture. They are they. And ye will not come to me. That you may have life. Jesus said, you won't come to me that you have life. You won't come to me that you may have life. Such spirit. In them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. We got to believe. He, but you won't come to me that you may have life. In other words, Jesus, look at something. You got you to come to me that you may have life. Jesus, but they won't come to me. And so we, we got to come to Jesus. Jesus told us in Matthew 11, listen, all that are labor. And heavy laden, come to me. You find if you come to me, you find rest for your soul. You find help. You find strength. But you gotta come to me. Uh, you just can't sit there and, and, and wait on me to come to you and do it. So you gotta come to me if you're heavy laden, if you're burning down, trouble, problem. Come to me, and you're gonna find rest for your soul. But that's something we gotta. We can't just sit idle. Hey, oh Lord, you know I'm going through. You know. We got to come to him and ask him. The Bible tells us, listen here, in John, I would not let you sin. If any man sin, well, we got to advocate. And we confess our fault. Confess our sin. He's faithful in jail. Uh, no, we can't just say, well, God, I, you know I sinned. You know I messed up. The Bible says we got to confess. Him. This is stuff we have to do. Confess your sin. He's faithful in jail enough to forgive us and cleanse us. We got to do our part. Hey, Lord, you know I messed up. Repent. Ask him to forgive you. Yeah. I just said that because he know. The Bible says you ask. The Bible says once you have not because you ask not. And James, you have not because you ask not. You ask me see not because you ask the myth. You consume it upon your lust. So folks, we got to play our part. We got to do our role. We got to do. Ask Jesus to help us. Like I said, sometimes it ain't the easy thing to do, but we can do it. We can get it done. We can get this done with the help of Jesus. Acknowledging him in all our way. Father, this is a steep hill to climb, but I can climb it through you with your help. I can climb this hill. Lord, I can climb this mountain with your help. This steep, it's get teased you, but through you, Jesus, we can make it. We can climb this hill. Jesus said, they won't come to me. That they may have life. You know? Matthew 11, 28. I'm going to read it. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you that labor and have it laden. And I give you rest. But he said, you got to come to me. You got to come to me. It's something you got to do. You got to come to me. Listen. Come unto me, all you that labor and I have it laden. I will give you. See what they're telling you? Come to me. If you're late, if you're heavy laden, come to me. If you're heavy laden, come to me. You find rest, come to me. And I just said, I bind it. Come to me. If you got a problem, come to me. You can't handle this problem, come to me. You don't know what to do, come to me. If you come to me, I got the answer. Jesus said, I am the answer. I'm the way, truth, and life. You come to me, I'm the answer. I'm your help. I'm your very present help in a time of trouble, but you got to come to me. You got to let me know when blind bottom ever sitting on the roadside begging and he was crying, oh Lord, thy son of David have mercy upon me. He was crying out to God. Jesus, man, what do you want? He said, I want to see. I want my sight back. I want to see. He was crying out. He was coming to Jesus and he got help. Jesus, we can get help, but we got to come to him. If you're late, come to Jesus. To Jesus, he is all my trouble. He is all my burden. His, all this yoke that's upon me, I'm coming to you. So we got to do it. We got to take it to Jesus. Don't sit that island just thank Jesus. No. You know, I'm telling somebody that didn't have no food. I listen, if you got food, Jesus let you sit there and starve. Waiting on somebody to pick you up in the spirit. As Jesus said, you let you sit there and starve. 
waiting on somebody. Well, they they Christian. They ought to see this. They ought to see this. And you know, let me tell you something, folks. You can't see nothing that Jesus don't let you see. Jesus said, ask, and it shall be given to you. Man, that time you sit there because you ain't got no food and think, think something that the, your brother and sister going to see it. Man, they can't see stuff on their own. I said, Jesus, let you sit there and start waiting on that stuff. You ask. He said, come unto me. You won't come to me that you may have life. If you're heavy laden, come unto me. You'll find rest for your soul. All that heavy laden. 2 Timothy 3 and 16, I quote from earlier. All scriptures is given. All scriptures given by the inspiration of God. And they're probable. Doctrine, but I'm going to read it. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Listen. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Everything I spoke tonight from the word is given by God. And it's proper for doctrine. For reproof. For correction, for instruction, for righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. It's given by God. Jesus, what you bind on earth, I'll bind in heaven. He'll give me that promise. By the way, swear by no grace, swear by self. He said, I need two things. This oath that I made and the promise that I made unto you and the oath I swore by oath. I swore by my own self. The two things that I've spoken. This is given by God. So we live. Praise that God help me. It's, it's there for It's waiting on us. Jesus, I said before you an open door. It's waiting on us. But God help us to get into that place. Get in that place for him. Look, sometimes I believe we're coming up short on stuff we could have. I know God do things by his will. He said, I will that all prosper be in hell. Would that your prosper be in hell, even as your soul prosper. I would. I believe God wants to prosper. Thank God for your Holy Father. Thank you. Mighty Master of Heaven. Son of the living God. I thank you tonight, Jesus, for your word, God, that you placed in the Bible for us that we can use. You says profitable. Teaching for correction, for instruction. For edification. Thank you tonight, Lord. Let this get into my heart, Father. I try. Lord, I'll be trying to shove other stuff out. Sometimes, look like, oh, doubt is trying to run back in there. But God, help us to, get to, to do what we're supposed to do. You said you 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 hold up your end. Don't you do what you say. Because you said you're going to watch over your word to perform it, to make it good. You're going to see to it. Come to pass. God, help us to do our part. You put some of this on us, Lord, that we need to do. And you are on it. You will acknowledge, Lord. You will accept it. Lord, tonight, thank you for the prayer request. God, the prayer request. They spoke out last night in the service. God, we agree with them. We agree, Father. We agree. We agree. You said if two of us agree on those touch. It'll be done. The thing that we ask of your Father. God, we agree tonight. According to your word, God, this is our part to agree. We agree in every situation. Work it off us to the triple up that God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree it, Sister Pam, Sister Penny, all others, Lord, and Sister Angela, work out for these kids, and Sister out in Texas, the son, Sister, another sister in Texas, or this, this lupus. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we decree tonight, we agree together, God, that you're making it happen. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for doing it. Praise God. We appreciate the Lord tonight. Thank God for you. We got to believe God. Let's pray one for another. We can believe God. We can get a hold of this faith. And we can hold our end this thing. And we know Jesus is going to hold this end up. Pray that we can eat, pray for one another. We can hold our end up that God. Will. And if we do, we know He's going to break. He's going to help us. Y'all keep me in prayer. Let's keep one another in prayer. Appreciate your prayer. The Bible said, "Affect your favorite prayers of a righteous person are barely as much." So keep me in prayer. I keep you all in prayer. We pray one for another. That the Lord will just have His way. That He uh, use us. He said in John fifteen, "Ye chose me. I've chosen and ordained you that you should go." 
and bring forth fruit. God says, Lord, help us to go forth and bring forth fruits. We thank you. God bless you. Thank God until the weekend. We see you Saturday if, if the Lord permit. Thank God for you and be praying. I heard it, I hadn't heard about it until I was looking at you yesterday, I believe, and I saw them people in Buffalo. We keep praying for them people, man. They having a hard time up there in Buffalo. I mean, them people, I mean, they're they really going through stuff. Sometimes we may get complain about this. Uh, we had to boil our water. We don't have to boil up here. Had to boil our water and the water under low pressure. Them people are there. Up there in Buffalo, New York, some other place, man, they are catching it. So let's keep them up in prayer. And somewhere God will help them through this stuff. Pray. Until the next time, God bless you. We appreciate you. Thank God until Sabbath. God be with you. God bless you.